you guys may know, there are tons of DLC weapons in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, from the MX Garand, from the HG40, to the FFAR, to the brand new Peacekeeper Mark II. We're going to be talking about the best DLC weapon in Black Ops 3. Could you even call a DLC weapon the best out of them all? I don't know, let's get straight into it. Alright, so basically, I want to talk to you guys about all the DLC weapons added into Black Ops 3, because by far, Black Ops 3 is the only COD that really threw so many DLC weapons into the game with the new Black Market system. Now, there's so much, you know, DLC weapons, there's melee weapons, SMGs, ARs, LMGs now, snipers, there's just so much, I can't really name them all, so we're going to be comparing the ones off the top of my head, kind of the most common that you would see in a public match, or the most common that you would know straight away. Alright, so what we're going to throw in there is, since the Peacekeeper Mark II just came out, we're going to keep that a little bit away. We're going to talk about the HD40, the FFAR, and let's throw in a melee weapon, the MVP baseball bat. I might say this is an unfair battle, but you know, we can't name all the DLC weapons. There's just too much of them. I even tried looking it up to see if there was a full list of all of them, and you really can't find that. So we're going to just talk about these three guns and see how well it goes. Now you're probably saying, how can you compare the FFAR to the HG40 to the MVP baseball bat? Basically, we're going to choose it out of its category, and I'm going to describe to you guys what the gun actually is. Now first, we're going to take the HG40. It's actually an MP40 remake from an older Call of Duties. Now the gun, it's okay. It's not the best gun in the game, not the best DLC weapon. You guys may know that. The damage rate is kind of on the slow side, so it's not the strongest gun out of them all. The FFAR definitely does have a high fire rate. It does have a good amount of recoil, if I do say so myself. It's actually the FAMAS from older Call of Duties in the past, and I think it's actually a really good weapon. Just the recoil does bring down, you know, level of it, but damage-wise, it's actually really good. Now the MVP baseball bat, it's a bat. It's a you know, a baseball bat. I believe it takes one to two hits to kill somebody if they're weak one, if they're not two. It's just like any other melee weapon, like I believe the nunchucks and just all those other ones like that. There's the butterfly knife you have. You just have so much melee weapons, you can't even name them all. For DLC melee weapons, you have the butterfly knife, the wrench, brass knuckles, iron gym, MVP, the carver knife, so the skull splitter, that's not even all of them. There's so much more to be named, that's just what we know off the top of our heads. But the MVP baseball bat isn't too bad. You can't really compare the melee weapons just because it's either a one or two hit because a knife it's one and then the MVP probably is two. And you can't really compare those, but uh, that's that. Um, now moving back to the HG40 and the FFAR. Looking at the HG40, the best thing on that HG40 is the range. Looking at the damage, fire rate, and accuracy, it's just low. It's not as high as the range or anything like that, so the gun isn't too powerful. Now taking a look at the FFAR, the most, you know, thing that you would see if you look at the stats is the fire rate. It's way up there compared to the range, which is all the way over here, but the fire rate, it's just up there like over there the fire rate is massive on this ffar it's a an assault rifle too so that's pretty surprising and the accuracy is not the greatest the range isn't the greatest and the damage isn't the greatest either but the ffar does have a really good fire rate it's a very fast moving weapon for an assault rifle probably one of the fastest compared out of them all, if you really do think about it. You guys might say in the comments, this is a very unfair comparison with the guns you actually chose. Why didn't you choose this gun? Why didn't you choose that gun? And I just chose the weapons that I know the best, the weapons that I love the best. And yeah, so I hope you guys don't get too mad about that. But what I want you guys to do in the comment section, comment your favorite DLC weapon, and comment what you think the most overpowered DLC weapon is down in the comment section so I know that would be greatly appreciated. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, smash that thumbs up button. I really do appreciate that. Uh, subscribe down below if you're new or you want to see more content from me. I upload every day. I stream every day. I'll see you all in the next one. Hope you have yourselves a great day. You've been the K's crew. I'm K's. Peace out.